turn it around. Look, look, look. Imagine. Since it's a magical collage, how the windows are shiny as if it's frost. Gorgeous! Hello friends, how about making a collage page? You loved this one so much. So when I saw this beautiful image of a window, I thought, wow, such a cozy, lovely atmosphere for a page. Let's cut some elements. Let's do a page together. I think it's gonna be fantastic. As you can see, we have like a scenery with this image. And I was thinking, wouldn't that be nice to have like a room maybe? Oops, like a room possibly. Um, let's see, let's cut this away. And I'm gonna show you what else I found in this book. And also I have these two gorgeous rice papers. One is a room and I like, hmm, how about, I don't know, somehow incorporating this one here or incorporating this behind this, I don't know. And then I also, I'm in love with this little girl. She's also on the cover of the book. And I was like, oh my, she's so gorgeous. So let's cut her out. Let's put her in that scenery. And I just really thought that, would that be so fantastic to have like a room scenery, but in the cozy feeling, maybe some elements as well, and create this kind of like a 3D effect, something like that. And also, I think so many of you love uh, adding things from magazines, me too. So we could look through a magazine as well and hopefully see something there. Um, look, like she is big-ish, I get it, like she is, but with the collage, I think, but she could be hiding somewhere either behind the bed or maybe looking through the window. Like with the art and collage, you can really do whatever you like. How about using clock? old kind of painting basket. There was also this thing, her own shop, but I thought her own looks gorgeous. Cute little birdhouse. <laughs> I was looking at this girl and I thought I would love her to have the body, the dress. And I thought I'm gonna draw it or maybe find something. And then look at the curtains in the magazine. Turn it around. Look, 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 look. Imagine, like I can see that. Okay, she's gonna be super tall. But honestly, I think this is gonna make this page even nicer because she's gonna be so super tall. I cut out the body as well, but then I was looking and I thought it would be so lovely to have these winter berries cut as well. So that's what I'm gonna do. Possibly we can have the deer as well. I guess we have to start putting the collage sort of together because we have so many elements right now that hmm, I'm not too sure <laughs> if all of these color wise and element wise are gonna match up. So we have to now have a little bit of have a little bit of play. Firstly, we need to fussy cut it all and place it and see where it's gonna be. I have a little dilemma. As you know, these gorgeous books have both sides pretty and I really love this mushroom. It's probably one of my absolute most favorite from the book. But for this project, I thought white mushrooms, how, how weird, how magical, how perfect. So I thought, Marta, no, you can't do it. You need to get another book. So that's what I'm going to do. But in the meantime, I thought how much each of these designs are on top of each other and how I'm going to use those mushrooms. And if I will be cutting them and hiding them, let's say here behind the bed, I still would not like to have the green because if we're going for all these gorgeous colors, which is like white, beige, brown, we have some blue and we have some, yeah, that's it. White, beige, brown, blue maybe tiny purple. I, I wouldn't like to have a fresh green color since we are in the frozen <laughs> feel. So do you know what? I'm gonna just hope that if I'm gonna fussy cut this particular mushroom exactly as I would love this to be, which is, let's say, something like that. And then this one as well. Yes, this one is pretty safe. I may have just enough mushroom exactly of what I, I need. This uh, mushroom Emphera book is from the previous video. I'm sure you've seen it. And then, oh wow, imagine, I would still cut it anyway. If it's gonna be here on the side or somewhere, it can be easily hidden. 
Hello, hello, good morning. The next day, my beautiful friends, I thought to add those wings to our pretty girl. I think it's gonna complement this lovely and make this more magical. And I was thinking maybe we can add something else. So while I can look for some new Amphara, I thought to give you a flip through the books. And also I wanted to say that the butterflies, you know how much I love butterflies. The butterfly book is already there. And also the birds one, a butterfly box and uh, insects and the birds as well. So I'm so looking forward to it. I cannot wait. I didn't see it yet because I didn't purchase it, but from the picture on the uh, website, it looks gorgeous inside. So oh, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I am going to show you like these are so pretty and let's have a look if there's something else we can add up to. Oh, I love this actually. If there's something else we can add and right away I'm just finding something super nice. I don't know if it's going to be something we're going to most definitely need or use, but I'm going to cut it <laughs> because I think it could be lovely. I'm going to cut it and we shall see if it's matchy, matchy to the page. But let's have a little, a little quick flip through. The backgrounds as well are lovely. I have to say the quality of the picture is amazing. I love the fact that the colors are gorgeous here. The print is fantastic. I mean, you can get really lots of elements in the same color scheme. And I love that it's really well balanced on the pages as well. I really love that. I really, really do. This is cute as well. I wonder could this deer be standing somewhere there behind? Mm, I don't know, maybe not this time. Maybe not this time. Uh, let me show you. Oh, this is a gorgeous window as well. Imagine to have one more window. Oh, do you know what? Maybe you could have two windows. Let's see. Um, I have to say that these books is something that I have been looking for years. Do you remember when I was making like sets of Enfera from 12 by 12 pages? I still have some uh, in the store because I was all about having all these beautiful elements to Fossicut. Then I have found some collage which were different realistic collage elements for from magazines and stuff and then slowly there were more books coming and also scrapbook paper have changed over the years I love using these elements for my pages because there's so many to choose from I love the fact that these are very pretty I have to say and am I able to draw paint like this possibly not necessarily um, and I really really enjoy having a lovely elements that they just will look pretty oh this could be really nice we'll see if we fussy cut that and let's see the cozy and fur as well which is uh, equally pretty that's where the girl was and if you fussy cut it look at them like they are so pretty the back pages are too pretty as well sometimes it's gonna be a difficult choice which one to choose of course I love the idea that you have all kinds of you have uh, from clothing to people to windows to some I don't know coffee tea uh, leaves books houses like they're animals like the choice is great uh, like what I wish in the near future is to basically collect all of these books because I think it's gonna be amazing to have them all and to be able to choose different and collage with all of it because they're the beautiful amazing elements being in all these books it's just such a lifesaver for me at least because there's so much to choose from and you're gonna find something always no matter what how pretty is that now this page is not really into it is into winter but it's not into holiday mood so I rather keep it um, that, that way more winter um, yeah holiday but not Christmassy I love the blue window I don't know if it's gonna match but I love the idea that it is the same color as the girl but I'm not too sure if it's not too much happening so I may leave it oh I have also the moon which is from the other project some other project I don't know since it's a magical collage imagine him being there or something then we have also I fussy cut the clock and then the, uh, another one which is cute as well we shall see how we're gonna start I'm gonna fussy cut this one and then this rice paper that is here La Blanche one which is gorgeous we're gonna possibly keep this part <laughs> Uh, because I won't be using this uh, so I'm gonna just have this I, I hope to use lamp and before I'm gonna jump in with with fussy cutting the rest what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just glue down the page already to my book so I can actually 
have my book drying basically <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say I guess there we go I also love usually tear it like that so there we go let's see so I'm gonna keep this because I, I may still use it somewhere else and the idea is to glue this one here it's bigger anyway so that's nice glue it like this and hopefully this will cover the hole it will Ooh, but I think the girl was going there no I think so I think her dress was perfectly matching the exactly the um the space so what we could do is we could figure it out sizing and all we, we will need something here for sure sorry and definitely she needs to go there but I love I think I'm, I'm gonna I think I'm gonna leave this one sticking as close to the edge as possible and then this one like that so then we have more of a lamp being visible because I love the idea of having the lamp visible here I think something like this will be just lovely I think so imagine that I, I, I really think so so I'm gonna grab clear gesso and as you can see right now we will just jump in, in with no maybe not this brush this is too nice Martha right this is more for gesso so what I'm gonna do is I'm lift I'm gonna hold it like it is now because it's good I'm gonna lift it and I'm gonna just jump in with my gesso straight away so this will help me to uh, glue it down now not every gesso will work as your sealer this one is it's little birdie one I think Prima one as well I think I linked that to you I think uh, Prima as well has the same abilities there we go so this is that and I'm gonna lift the rest and that's cool because it's staying in the place that I need this to be okay there we go a little more maybe now let's see if even more well, well let's straight this Marta all these lines and then super job I really wish this to be nice and straight without any crumbs <laughs> crumbs and what we could do now is to have something heavy like oh, like these books maybe and maybe these books let's keep it to dry back to you everything is pretty much dry I would love to imagine so let's grab a tool if you don't have to like I do which is probably normal you don't own it because this is few years old you can use you know um, um, nail thing you know for the nails then this thing you can use because that's pretty much uh, pretty much what it is my beautiful friends I have some kind of collage uh, composition made I love it I still need a little bit of tweaking and you know what I'm gonna just start gluing this down maybe a little bit and let's see so this one it's a great glue because this one is five minutes up to to dry so we can move around stuff up to five minutes which I find quite good I have to say so I'm gonna now go to the dress part which I'm so excited about honestly I think it's such a cute idea I love that idea that it's a, a dress that it's a tall person that it's a <laughs> that it is the uh, what's the word the 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 the, 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 the? Uh, curtain sorry that word just doesn't stay with me curtain curtain I like that that it's curtain I think it's so cute okay the girl is ready so let's do the butterfly now oops <laughs> that glue is keep on ah there we go now let's see about that I love it I think it's so cute now question is do we need this one to go somewhere or there behind or I love it I love it or how about if this goes may oh maybe even this is better I think so that kind of makes it a little bit more sense of why something is behind that sort of 
yeah I love this now because this glue is not 100% like I don't press in 100% because of the uh, Oh, I love this. I really love this project so much. Um, we need something heavy, I guess, for it to hold because otherwise uh, it won't stick because, it's, as I said, it's five minutes so we can move around. So now it's kind of... you need to really press it. So let's keep something like heavy books on top, few of them, and maybe even this and I'll be back to you. I found something else, books, because I think that this super cozy place, it's hairs, hair, right? Oh, even here. And I feel that she, she is like there, she's gonna sit down there, lie down and read the books. <laughs> Uh, and also we have this birdie, which I'm not too sure where to place. Oh, actually he could be on the house and think of that. So the birdie could be on the house or maybe could be on the mushrooms. And I also feel that she needs to hold something. Maybe even the birdie, but no. Maybe not the birdie. I just felt that her hand is half cut. <laughs> so I think we need to find something that will cover this up that she's holding something tiny, I don't know what. Everything is pretty much glued down. My only thing is that I really wish to do something with the dress. So how about we're gonna jump in with a tiny layer of gesso on the dress. And also I'm thinking to possibly add a tiny, delicate, gentle layer to all the elements. So maybe we can do, as always, some light shadowing. I have done shading here and I was thinking to do, oops, I have a little visitor to, <laughs> to do a shading here as well. Hello. Hello, Hannah. The same kind of vibe, although it's a completely different project. If you haven't seen this one, be sure to check it out. I'll link you at the end of this video in the description box and in the comment maybe. And yeah. So I think I'm gonna do a little bit of shading. I have used one of the ink tents, which is bark color, I think. I'm pretty sure I used my favorite of all, bark color. It gives this extra depth and finish touches and I just love it. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do it. But before that, I think Hannah wants to show you something. I got new slime. <laughs> I got new slime. Oh, pop, well, <laughs> pop, 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 Would you explain pop, 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 pop. us how the slime works? Uh, would you like to show it to everyone? No? And I will, I will in the meantime, just add a little extra touch of the gesso. Go on. Who made that slime for you, Hannah? Did you buy it or did you get it? Uh, um, s s yesterday I wanted slime from the shop, but I couldn't. Then I just... Why couldn't we get sl a slime in the shop? Because the slime that we found was kind of too watery. Yes. So we just, so when we got home um, and we were collecting Emily, um, Emily and Emily's friend. And Nicole. Yeah, and Emily's friend called Nicole, so. Uh, and we were talking in the car uh, about it. I wasn't really talking about it. You weren't really talking, no? But then. Because you were upset? Yeah, and then. Yeah. You and Nicole and Emily and Dad were talking about the slime, so and Nicole could make it. Nicole could make you one, right? And she did yesterday quickly. And I even, um, I have two more slimes. Two more colors. I'm gonna move this aside so you can show the proper. Oh, uh, my three ones. There. All your three. Slimes. Well, I made this one from my pink because I just added the purple. It's kind of like purple, kind of like oil. Type. Oil. So you made a purple from a pink one co collected, co connected with blue? A pink. No. Huh? So first we were trying to add blue and red because that makes purple. But when I was adding it, it just turned grey so I just added purple instead. Alright, very good. Okay, would you like to show everyone how this works? How this works? Maybe take out some slime? 
Not the blue one since that It's harder one. to get it out, is it? Yeah, it's but like... You are able to get the pink one out, is it? Yeah, because that one's not so, like, very sticky. The blue oh, one's wow. Obviously and you have sticky. to keep it very clean, right? Super, okay. Uh, I'm gonna dry the page and be right back to you. Bye! Bye! I would use this clock actually, if not the fact that we put this clock here and it just looks silly. So I found this thing here. I don't know, I could be in total, <laughs> total wrong, but I just feel she should hold something. She should like, I don't know, just hold something, yeah. I think what I wish to do is I wish to make sure that it's like that I, she's still holding it. Oh, something like this. I think I found it. I was looking through all my die cut, oops, die cut drawers. Those are from my own digital papers from my store, like wings, people, elements, shoes, glasses, like you name it. Everything is there. Butterflies tons of different gorgeous elements you can check my story if you feel like it and I found <laughs> these two bows and this could be our answer I choose the smallest from three <laughs> um, bows and I really think that this is it this really is taking away attention from the hand that I just felt like mm. it's also giving this extra little touch to the jar itself and I just think it looks quite good. Back to coloring. Let's see how we can bring this dress standing out and the whole picture to be more... Yeah, standing out basically. That's what I'm trying to do. Mushrooms. There we go. Around the mushrooms as well. That's it. And the moon, of course. And the moon here. There we go. Same for we're gonna do same for her, and we're gonna do same for her beautiful wings. And I'm hoping that these will beautifully stand out as well. I came to the conclusion that instead of painting the dress blue, I'm gonna paint it shiny because I think that for me, honestly, I didn't feel that I have to cover it. I just felt that this is like a top, like a, like a, you know, like, like a shirt, t-shirt, <laughs> and this is a skirt more, like a, a dress together, but really, you know, and I was, by accident, my water had some, uh, had a little bit of sparkles in it when I was doing the dress here, and I was like, hmm, actually, I could easily do that and this would look so gorgeous so my <laughs> friends I have this beautiful mirror effect paint I've used it on my uh, YouTube channel actually the other one only a couple days ago was it two days ago two days ago and doing my ornaments and I loved it but look at this I mean this is so gorgeous and I'm also thinking that maybe but we really need it, like a touch, yeah, like a touch of shine, like on the windows, like, I mean touch. Now, if you would like to check those paints, those are magical. Let me show you the ornament. There you go. So if you're curious about this video, I'm using the same paint. Look how different it looks when it kind of, I think it kind of gets the color from the background. So Marami Simple Craft has this YouTube tutorial. I'm gonna link you this as well. And I really think we are super close to having this gorgeousness page finished. And I think this final touch of that shine is just making this page so even more magical and special. Let's try this actually. Happy collaging. I love you. Lots. Bye. I'm back to you just for one second. Let me grab this. Let me grab this amazing paint. Look! And I'm gonna cover her face. And look, I'm gonna sprinkle some of that sparkly paint. Look at it. It is so gorgeous. I hope you like this one. And also let me show you how when you tilt 
how the windows are shiny as if it's frost. It's beautiful. So, okay, I'm gonna let you go. Bye for now.